I just realized I turned the camera on without kind of thinking about what I was going to say. So that was a mistake. Uh, it's Tuesday. It's October 3rd. Uh, last Saturday, I didn't even like say this on the vlog at all. Last Saturday, we went to see Manchester Orchestra in Worcester. Holy hell, did they just totally destroy it. It was fantastic. Manchester Orchestra is not an orchestra from the town I live in. Uh, it is a band, a rock band from Atlanta, Georgia, I believe. They're one of my favorite bands now. Uh, I got into them a few years ago and many years ago, I guess. And they have a new record out called A Black Mile to the Surface, and this tour was in support of that. And man, they just, they put on a show that I, I've seen, this is the second time I've seen them, and both times it has been totally mind-blowing. It's, it's fantastic. They're so good live. They're super tight. They, now they have so much material. They've had a few albums since the last time I saw them. The set was awesome. It was just, it was at the Palladium, which I had never been to before. And I know some people are like, what, you never been to the Palladium? But I just kind of never got there. They have since, from what I understand, they have since renovated the whole place and it looks fantastic now. It's a cool old theater. And just, it was great, just so great. The openers were fantastic. They played with a couple of bands, one called Foxing and one called Tiger's Jaw. And I've never heard either of them before that night. And I was pleasantly surprised. Now fans of those bands as well. So I did capture a little bit of footage on my phone. So uh, I'm going to throw that in here. And yeah, just all around awesome night. So very, very cool. Uh, also today, I have a new keycap set coming for my mechanical keyboard, keyboards. Uh, as I've mentioned before, on uh, keyboards like this one and the one I have over here, these keys all kind of individually pop off. The little, the actual thing, the, the key itself can remove. Uh, so I got a new set for pretty cheap. Uh, it's going to change the look, but maintain the feel of my keyboards. Uh, it's not going to go on this one. It's going to go on my, my full-size keyboard over here. So once that arrives, I think we'll do a quick unboxing and maybe a time lapse of putting all of that on. Looking forward to that. Yeah, let's cut to that, I guess. All right. So as you probably know, this is my main mechanical keyboard. I talked about this a little while ago on the vlog. But uh, my new keycaps just arrived, so let's open this up. This is my first key. Uh, this is my first third-party keycap set. I have another one on order actually, but 
That one's um, kind of a much bigger deal. This one's just sort of a cheapy option to try it out. Oh, poppy poppy paper. Cool. For, for professional gamers. Well, that's not me. So this is from a company called MassDrop, and if you're not really familiar with them, uh, what they do is kind of like Kickstarter, but it's for group buying. So this started out at, you know, a price, and the more people that said, I'm going to buy this, the lower the price got. So there are minimum order quantities and stuff, but the more people who are into it, the cheaper it becomes for everybody, which is super cool. So I think this was probably like, I think it came out to 20 bucks. Yeah, just about 20 bucks, which isn't bad. Using a guitar pick as a opener. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. You got a keycap puller. Just to pop these ones off, but uh, I have a wire one that I'm going to use. And what do we got? We have Q. So you can see this is called double shot plastic. What it is is like uh, it's two pieces of plastic. So there's the actual keycap and there's the letter. These are two separate pieces of plastic that are just merged together. Cool. So here's all the modifier keys. Spacebar, Windows key, control, caps lock, all that sort of stuff. There's a few orange ones in here. This colorway is called Clownfish. So I guess let's get to it. I left a bunch of that out because my battery died and I was too into doing this to bother to change it. So anyway, here's the finished product, a complete with super messy desk. Uh, so at the beginning of this vlog, I kind of teased in the title that I have some big news and at risk of burying the lead a little bit, I'm finally going to get to that big news. So the news is uh, that I quit my job and I'm starting a new job here in town. I'm no longer going to be working from home. Uh, I'm changing careers pretty much. It is an entirely new direction for me and I'm super excited about it. I have another video on the channel kind of explaining some of the details of this process, so there's a link to that in the description. Be sure to watch that for a little more clarification. So after eight years at my current company and five years working from home for them and just after everything, it's, it's time for me to move on. So I'll be going back to office life, which is a little bit strange. I'm kind of looking forward to it, but I'm also kind of nervous about it. Today is um, Friday, October 6th, and my last day at my current job is next Wednesday. By the time this vlog goes up, I will have made the announcement like on Facebook and stuff, and I mentioned it in my podcast uh, last week, which comes out on Monday, which might be when this posts as well. So this is a big change and if you're like kind of, you know, if you know me and Beth and stuff and kind of a little bit about us, this is a really, really big deal. And I, I don't want to just say like, oh, I'm getting a new job and like, and it's, it might seem like not a big deal to a lot of people, but trust me, it totally is. And this is, this is a real game changer. And as I mentioned in my other video about this, um, that is not to say that my current job has been bad, it hasn't been toxic, it hasn't been like some terrible situation I need to get out of. It's just time for me to kind of graduate on up and go down a different road. The opportunity presented itself, so here I am taking it. So this might change the vlog a little bit. Um, it might change my release schedule, it might change my recording schedule, it might change that I'm not really doing things in this office very much anymore. I don't know how that's gonna affect things, but uh, you will definitely be along for the ride. So anyway, that, I guess, wraps up this vlog, and um, wish me luck.